undefiled. Religion that is pure, as James talks about it in the 27th verse of James chapter 1, religion that is pure and undefiled before God. And the thing is, is that he concludes this with those thoughts that have to do with compassion. He says, take care of the, uh, the orphans and the widows. And then he talks about just keeping yourself unspotted from the world. And, and I've said this many times on the broadcast about that Christianity is a, a, a faith to where we just simply, we live our lives every day and we try to abstain from the world and live our lives before God. And uh, I think there's much reward in that. So as James describes this thing that he calls pure religion, it kind of reminds me of the expression you've heard before, I'm sure. It says that you're in the world, but you're not of the world. In other words, we have to live on this planet and we're living in society where many people have not found their way to Calvary's cross. And uh, you have to work through those things. And so, yes, we, we live in this world. And, and we live in a world that has a lot of evil in it. But understand that uh, we don't have to partake of the sin Yes, we live in this world. It's all around us, but we do not have to participate unless we allow ourselves to do as James talks about in his first chapter of the book of James. And he says, when you allow lust to come forth out of your being, and he says, when lust has conceived, it brings forth sin. In other words, when we allow the lust that James says is just, just naturally in us, then it will lead us down the road of destruction. And it'll lead us to that place where we can very easily be separated from God. And that's the most terrible thing that a person could experience is to be separated from the true and the living God. So here are some things to take note of. First of all, uh, Christianity is a spiritual kingdom. It's spiritual. And I've taught this so many times here on the radio is that we are spiritual. Human beings, God breathed. Go back to the book of Genesis where it says that God breathed the breath of man, of uh, the breath of God into man. And so we're God breathed. We are God breathed is because we're God breathed that we're spiritual. And we live in a spiritual reality. And we can walk in the spirit, the scripture says. But the guiding light of Christianity, I believe, is faith. We walk in faith, Scripture says, not by sight, but we walk in faith, believing that God is and that he is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. So I'm going to leave you with this thought. Religion that is pure. Guard your heart. Don't allow anything to happen in you that you'd cause yourself to be bitterness or want to do harm to some individual. Just guard your heart. And I believe that if we adopt that principle, then we'll do well. It's Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast. <laughs> 